guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel it's your girl faith martins if today is your first time seeing me on youtube you are absolutely welcome please do not forget to watch this video till the end subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video if you're a returning subscriber welcome back guys do not forget to share this video and give this video a thumbs up today we'll be talking about zambia china relationship is china is zambia already a chinese colony there has been so much reactions after my first video about their relationship about the future of zambia about zambia's leadership i stumbled on a speech by zambia's former vice president nevas momba but before i go into his speech i've seen videos about celebrities standing against these activities happening between zambia and china and i stand to ask are they really taking actions against china recolonizing their country zambia are zambia's really taking action to regain their country although i'm yet to see videos of peaceful peaceful protests in their government houses if there are videos to that effect please don't forget to tag me or get, send me the link to such videos i'm gonna be reading the statement by nevas momba the former vice president of zambia he says i approach this subject in my three capacities as a diplomat as a former vice president and as a pastor he says the zambia china policy must change now as zambia is just waking up to these menace happening in their country well bet like like they say it's better late than never government is implicating the chinese population in zambia when zambians are attacked in china the zambian government is mute i talked about the last time we had um the discriminations against blacks in china so when we saw the menace happening to africans in china at least for the first two weeks we had little or no african leader talk against what was happening and then you saw when a when three chinese were killed in zambia that same day we saw the minister for foreign affairs in zambia condemn the killings and they had their police go interrogate suspects for the killings of this chinese same day so he is saying the government of Zambia was mute when Zambians were attacked in China. When a Chinese calls a Zambian a foreigner in his own country, the government is mute. When a Chinese he treats a Zambian, the government is mute. The Chinese kills a Zambian, the government is mute. When a Zambian challenges a Chinese for you treating Zambians, he is made to apologize. He is basically referring to the current leader in Zambia, Mao Sampa, who apologized to the Chinese over ill treatment of Zambians in Africa. In public policy, this picture is lethal against a sitting government. It shows that the decision makers in such a government are eating off the hands of the Chinese. The behavior of the government not only angers Zambians, but puts the lives of Chinese in danger. Only Zambians feel that their government is standing with foreigners and not them. They are tempted to take the laws into their own hands. Mr. President, from a public policy point of view, the Zambians have concluded, rightly or wrongly, that your government has been financially compromised by the Chinese. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I believe we do not just want write-ups, we want actions to back up these write-ups. If we keep sending write-ups to this president or the leaders in Zambia, they might still do nothing or little against this menace happening in Zambia. He says, he says, your government has been financially compromised by the Chinese concerned, by the Chinese concerned, and in the process you have surrendered the entire Zambian population to Chinese domination. The statement from the ministers of labor and local government has cemented this unfortunate position. Last year, a Chinese national called Kenyans monkeys. Within hours, the president directed that the Chinese be deported within hours. That is an active president in Africa. Having served as a pastor for 41 years, as a diplomat and vice president, 
I wish to propose the following. Do not forget, this is a statement coming from the former pri Vice President of Zambia, Nevas Momba, that the government immediately deports the Chinese national who used racist remarks against a Zambian. That the government interrogates in a public manner those Chinese accused of oppressing and abusing Zambians in place of work and thereafter take decisive steps to protect Zambians from further abuse. Remove all notices written in Chinese from all public places and replace them with English. Call for emergency bilateral meeting with China through their embassy to discuss matters that could injure the future relations between our two countries. We must demand for mutual respect and equitable reciprocity. Wow. Can this truly be done in Zambia? A country where a sitting president apologizes to a foreigner for treating its members, can these actions truly be taking place? Well, except they have a new leader in Zambia. I do hope and I'm optimistic to see change currently happening in Zambia. I still want to see more action from the people of Zambia. I think we are seeing less actions from them. We want more actions and less talks. I am talking as if the nation I come from will do more than the Zambians are doing. We obviously want to see actions from Africans in Africa. We have been threatened enough. Imagine the peaceful protests currently going on in the US. If Africans stand up for their rights the way the African Americans are currently doing in the US, I am so sure the menace currently happening in the continent will be totally reduced to the barest minimum. And Africans will for once have a say against foreign nationals in their country. Insist that only Chinese with needed professional qualifications be allowed to work in Zambia. Do I remind you that when Chinese signed contracts with African leaders to build structures and every other infrastructure needed in Africa, they do not employ Africans to work in their fields. They bring manual laborers. They bring all, in fact, to the barest needed manpower position. They bring them all the way from China to Africa. These little actions by these Chinese firms keeps increasing the population of China in Africa. This ex-president of Zambia is asking, the current, is asking the current president to deport every Chinese that is not a professional in his or her field in Zambia and insists that only Chinese with the needed professional qualifications are to be allowed in Zambia to work. Will this truly happen in Zambia? I am, oh no, I am not negative. I am optimistic to see positive change in Africa. But seeing a president apologize to foreign nationals, do, do you think this same president will be ready to effect a change as this in Zambia? He ends with this. I call on all Zambians to send a strong message to the government that our policy must be Zambians first. I am not a Zambian, but I am black. I am black before I became Igbo. I am black before I became Nigerian. I am black before I realized I'm an African and because I am black and standing with my black brothers and sisters in Zambia and I am saying with their voices we want Zambians first in Zambia we do not want a recolonized Zambia we are looking to see a united African we do not want one of our brothers out of united African before we have our united state of Africans we want our country we want Zambia together. We want, Zam we want the rights of Zambians upheld. We want Zambians to be proud of their country. Someone said in the comment section, why is it looking like Zambians are begging to be accepted in Zambia, their country? This is heartbreaking that this is happening in 2020 in an African country. Our, our ancestors fought for our independence. We do not want to be recolonized because of money. We do not want to be recolonized because of infrastructural gains they are supposedly bringing to Africa. I will end this video with this comment I found in the comment section. It says, Zambians, why are we discussing Chinese issue as if it's not our country? We are talking as if we are the foreigners begging for acceptance in a foreign land and good treatment by owners of that country. In this case, begging for Chinese nationals to treat us well. What is wrong with us? He says, it is up to citizens to do something themselves. In as much as I keep saying on my channel, I do not support violence. 
we need to stand as one in Africa to win this cause. To my Zambian brothers and sisters, I do hope and pray you keep raising your voices on all mediums. If, if, it, if it's around a peaceful march to the government houses, we want Zambia as one. We do not want a recognized Zambia. If your celebrities would not speak up, you as individuals can speak up and effect change. Well, if you've watched this video from the beginning till this stage, I am so grateful. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>